Finally tonight, the Chinese have always come to the United States in search of a better life. What they have experienced, however, was not always as advertised. While we fear losing our top spot as the world's number one superpower to them today, here's a look at the history of Chinese immigration. Ray Jing Li is a sophomore currently attending Cupertino High School. He can be seen hanging out with friends at this school uh, comprised of 1,900 unique students. When asked the question, what do you want to do when you grow up, he said, engineer. However, that would not have been possible in almost all the history of Chinese immigration to the United States. Mr. Li is one of many Chinese continuing the long and often complicated relationship between the United States and China. In the late 1700s, the Chinese became the first immigrants to settle in the United States from Asia. They were at first well-received rich businessmen and property owners and renowned for their hard work. However, large-scale immigration began in the mid-1800s and relations between the Americans and Chinese soured due to the flood of unskilled immigrants looking for gold during the California Gold Rush. Eventually, some of these immigrants went to work on the railroads, doing dangerous jobs for less pay. Despite the fact that many working on the railroads were Chinese, pictures taken at Promontory Point, where the eastern leg of the railroad connected with the western leg of the railroad, included no Chinese. Back in the city, these immigrants formed enclaves known as Chinatowns and worked odd jobs such as cooking, peddling, and storekeeping. The large influx of unskilled Chinese workers that soured relations with the Americans created economic fears in the western part of the country, where the Anglo-Saxon population was attributing unemployment to competition from Chinese workers. Congress passed the Chinese Exclusion Act as a result of these fears, and it was signed by President Chester A. Arthur on May 6, 1882. The law banned all Chinese immigration for 10 years before being extended for another 10 years by the Gary Act of 1892. The Chinese Exclusion Act eventually became permanent in 1902. The law, however, was repealed by the Magnuson Act of 1943. The Chinese immigration remained limited at a quota of 105 people per year. Full immigration did not resume until the Immigration Act of 1965 was passed, which eliminated the national origins policy. So the next time Raging says his favorite phrase, he might want to thank the Immigration Act, of 1965.